So you got into med school. Congrats. Now, do you actually need to study the summer before it all begins? We're going to get to those questions after this intro. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today's video is inspired by a comment that I got. I know a lot of you guys have had it, and since summer is approaching, I thought it was a perfect time to make this video. The question is, should you study the summer before your first year of medical school? And in this video, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna tell you yes or no, and I'm also gonna tell you what you should be doing or what you shouldn't be doing um, to basically help anyone on either side of the fence. So let's get to the short and simple answer. Should you study before medical school starts? And the answer is absolutely not. And I know, you know, there's some of you guys that are like, awesome, cool, going on vacation later. You can click off this video and just hit subscribe. I'm cool with that. Um, but there's some of you guys where, you know, you say the same things that I said when I was about to start medical school, which is I just want to get ahead or I want to not feel behind when I start. And there's a lot of like tough classes that come during your first year of medical school where it's appropriate to feel that way. You have biochem, you have anatomy, you know, a bunch of other classes you probably never heard of, just a bunch of apologies. Um, I get it. But the main reason of why it's not appropriate to study the summer before medical school begins is because your intensity to study is just different when you're preparing for a test versus when you just have a summer to like skim over things. You know, when you have an anatomy test this coming Friday, you tend to remember very complicated words really quickly. But when you're just kind of going through the motion of trying to freshen up on anatomy or learn it for the first time your summer before, it just doesn't stick that same. So honestly, the amount of rewards you would get from that review just doesn't pan out. And you know, if you don't believe me, ask any fourth year medical student and ask them, should you or would you have studied before medical school started? And if they were a successful med student, if they did well, you know, that's who you should go to. Not the person who looked like they struggled because that person is going to tell you stressed out answers and make you stressed out. But you wanna to go to the person that you wanna emulate, the person that did well and ask them, would you have studied the summer before? And almost 99% of them will say, do not study. Instead, let's talk about a few things that you should do instead. So one of the things that I do recommend doing the summer before medical school that does deal with studying is perfecting your studying system. When we're in college, you know, often the phrase is what worked in college is not going to work in medical school. That's because often a lot of us rely on techniques that are just inefficient. You know, we do a lot of rereading, we write our notes out loud, we do a lot of highlighting, some of us cram, you know, all-nighters. That just doesn't work in medical school. And rather than learning that your first two weeks in medical school, it's important for you to reflect back on your college experience and realize what worked and what didn't and what you can take with you and what you should probably leave in your college days, among many other things. And to help you guys out, I'm going to uh, link down below to a free worksheet. It's called my fluff to impact ratio. Basically what it is, it's going to have you fill out all the studying techniques you did, you know, estimate how many hours you did per day, per week, and then give it a score. And you're going to be able to see visually which techniques actually led you to your high grades and which ones you're probably doing just because. And so you can take the ones that really worked and try them out your first few weeks of medical school. And then you can feel like you're already ahead because you're not trying to figure out a study system. You're coming with a good game plan. Um, and so you know, perfect your study system first with what you've already done. And then you can go online, look at my website, look at other people, you know, try to figure out what study methods they use and try to kind of mix and match and create one that's perfect for you. So creating your perfect study system is something I'm totally down for. It doesn't require you wasting long hours during your summer. Uh, it can be pretty quick, done in about a day, uh, but it's going to help you not necessarily prep for anatomy now, but at least when it's time to do it um, during your first semester of medical school, you'll know how to essentially begin. Now then the second thing that you could probably do during your summer before is just look at the resources for the classes that you're going to have at the start of, you know, when medical school begins in your first semester. So that includes anatomy, biochem, cell bio, just look at what other people have used for those. And this doesn't mean go read them or go buy them. This is just made to help you avoid being overwhelmed when that class starts. You're not sure what to do because the internet is going to look like it's going to give you 101 different options. So if you read about the different resources you can use for biochem and you see flashcards and you see a book and you see a video course and you know, et cetera, 
you can then look into reviews of each and every one of those and figure out which one will be the most appropriate to you. So again, check out my website, check out other YouTubers who have done a great job explaining different resources you can use. You just kind of have a running list for your first couple of classes because then you'll avoid doing resource overload and buy everything under the sun because you see your classmates also doing it. So check out your resources. Again, you don't have to buy them. Definitely don't read them, but it's important to just kind of be uh, aware of what your options are. Now, the last three things, guys, is really about just enjoying your summer and making sure it's used optimally. So item number three is to go on vacation or just spend time with your loved ones. You're not going to have very many summers uh, after this one. In fact, you know, if you're in the US, you're probably just going to have one more. And that's the summer between your first year and your second year. And I'll make a video about what to do during that time on a totally different video. But you just want to make sure you're using the time optimally. So find the people you care about, find the hobbies that you want to be participating in and make sure you dedicate time to. So take a vacation, find time for you, make sure you do that. Item number four is make sure you're optimizing your health. One of the best things that I did coincidentally is I really got into working out that summer before medical school started. I had just quit my uh, job that I had during my gap year. And then I had like three months that I didn't know what to do with, you know, I had moved in, uh, it was nice. And so I went on runs a lot, you know, learned about lifting, improved my health and my nutrition. And I was able to take that when medical school got crazy and make sure that my body didn't take a hit. So make sure you're optimizing your health now. So don't become a couch potato, you know, Netflix and watching a lot of movies and TV shows is okay. Make sure you're just kind of doing a little thing active here and there to help you because you're going to be in a chair a lot when medical school starts. So make sure you're optimizing your health. And the last thing guys that I recommend doing the summer before is just reading and learning about things outside of medicine. One of kind of my biggest strengths that I think I had is I learned about almost everything under the sun aside from medicine my summer before. I learned about personal finance because I knew I'd be either broke or be making money as a doctor. Uh, I'm broke right now, I'll be making money eventually. Uh, but it's important to understand kind of how to deal with that. Um, Self-development, you know, I learned how to kind of fix my car um, because I was going to be alone for the first time. All these kinds of things, read about them, find books that are interesting because then you can develop those life skills, those hobbies um, outside of medicine so you can enjoy yourself outside of medicine. Um, so all of these things guys combined, you know, obviously it's going to prep you for a great medical school start, but it's also going to give you lifelong habit because medical school and medicine is going to take chunks and time from your life and attention. And it's going to require you to be able to prioritize yourself, your free time, and just understand how to be efficient. So all these tips, if you combine them guys, I promise you medical school is going to start off on a good note. Um, you're still going to have your rough patches, but do not study. That goes back to the start of this video. Um, you think you're going to get ahead, but I promise you, if you ask anybody, including your future self in about a year from now, was it worth it, you know, uh, to study for this class? You'll probably say no. So if that's the case, enjoy those three months, enjoy those two months. Um, and that's going to be the end of this video, guys. If you have more questions, you know where to reach me, comment down below. If you haven't and you're about to click off this video, first I tell stop. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And also, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.